how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sole videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. But I am sharing a haul video with you guys that I did most recently. I went to the bins and I got, let's see. 23 pounds at $1.59, so I spent $36.51. If you saw or heard me talking about my last bins trip that I made in the end of January, I found amazing things. I spent about $57, got two bags of Ikea stuff, had a great time. I went back, this was on February 7th, went back to the same place, pretty much the same time, different day of the week, <laughs> not that any of that matters but I just did not find as great of stuff. Um, I actually ended up getting more things though, and I only filled one Ikea bag. I think it's just because I had a lot more small, lightweight things, um, a lot of bread and butter stuff, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. I think I got about 41 or 42 things, and the last time I only got about 35 items. So I'm just gonna get into it. I did have a few things already sell. I sold this. <laughs> Kite Baby is the brand, K-Y-T-E Baby sleep bag. This actually sold really quickly. I originally had it listed for $30. And then within like the first five minutes of me listing it, someone offered me 20 and I decided to accept. Kind of picked this up on a whim, but comp seems pretty good. These bags originally sell for like $50. And then ever since I looked it up, you know, to get more information about it to resell, I get so many ads, especially on TikTok from this brand now. Apparently they think I have a baby and that I want it. Um, like the bag thing, the blanket bag. Um, so yeah, it must be like a popular ad thing for parents. So I'm not surprised it sold pretty quickly on Poshmark. I definitely pick it up again if I saw this brand, you know, at the bins or out and about for cheap because it's something that people I guess are looking for. So that was great. I also found this Phoebe Bridgers concert graphic tee, I guess. I really only know about Phoebe Bridgers, I think from like TikTok and people talking about her. She's a singer, I think. Um, and yeah, I saw the graphic tee, it was really cute. It was a size extra small, but I still like liked it, the style of it. And I knew someone else would like, like it as well. I think that's on pre-order on her website. So that was good that it wasn't actually for sale anywhere. It ended up selling for $21 on Mercari and after fees I made $17.79. I also sold this J. Jill Floral Peplum 3X top. I picked this up, I think the last thing I picked up that day. I really liked the pattern, it was really pretty floral. It was 3X, so a great size. J. Jill, kind of hit or miss, but it's been a pretty good bread and butter brand as long as, you know, the piece is a good piece, you know, not just like a plain t-shirt or sweater or something, but like, a pretty good, like a nice pattern like this, a good size. It ended up selling again really quickly. I think the same day I listed it for 22 and after fees, I made 15.88. Then I had another quick sale, this Madewell Bell Sleeve sweater. This was really cute. I think it was like a wool alpaca. I didn't list it for too much because it was actually from like 2016 and Madewell hasn't been doing super well for me. I think it was a size medium, so it wasn't like a small size, which is good. I find a lot of like extra small smalls from Madewell. But it also sold the same day. It ended up selling for 18 and after fees I made 14.40. And the last thing I've sold so far from this bins trip was a pair of Torrid shorty shorts, <laughs> um, like a button fly. They were size 18, they sold for 20 and after fees I made 15.32. I will pick up the occasional toward piece. These ended up being like a newer style, so that's why I picked them up. Um, their jeans haven't done the best for me, but I'll pick up toward in usually a size 18 or higher. I'm not sure how low in sizing they go, but the bigger the size in toward, the better it will do, at least in my experience. And you know, we're going into spring and summer, so I thought I'd pick up a few pairs of shorts. All right, now let's get into the things that I still have with me. This again is gonna be pretty bread and butter. Um, maybe a couple of good pieces, I honestly don't remember. I mean, everything's gonna be good. I don't know about, you know, great. It's not gonna be like the last bins haul I shared with you guys where I found like some really amazing pieces, but anyway, 
This is an Aerie bralette. Aerie is um, an American Eagle like sub brand. They sell like underwear, bathing suits, uh, loungewear, workout clothes, stuff like that. This is just a cute bralette in a nice rust color, really good um, condition. It's a size large. It's from 2019, 2018. Um, but thought I'd pick it up. People really like bralettes still, and I know people like the brand Airy. I know I do. This, <laughs> I don't think this brand ended up being anything, but I loved the graphic on this. I do think someone cut this up themselves. It's the brand West Path. It's a size small, but it is a tank top. And it has this really cute like surfboard with a hat on it on the front. And then on the back, it has a lady on a surfboard with the sun and some beers and that hat. I think my husband would have kept this if it was his size. He loves tank tops and he loves to surf. He's from Southern California, but it's like four sizes, probably too small for him. He likes his stuff like long and oversized. Then I picked up this girl's skirt. It's the brand Margarita and it just kind of looked nice, um, the branding, and it's a size five. Um, I couldn't actually find anything really about this brand, um, but again, really cute for spring and summer. Would be great for Easter for a little girl. It has this really pretty floral print. It has these two front patch pockets. It is lined. Would have been cute for Valentine's Day too, but I didn't get it up in time. So maybe for Easter, someone will pick that up. Here is another bralette. I thought this was originally a one shoulder situation, but the only ones I could find online said it was like a halter top like that. I thought it was gonna be more like that. I have no idea. <laughs> it again is like new. It's a size medium large and it's from the brand Out From Under, which is a Urban Outfitters house brand. I don't always pick up their house brands from Urban Outfitters, usually the Urban Outfitters brand itself, like when it says Urban Outfitters does the best for me. But again, really only something I would pick up at the bins, house brand or not. But this has actually been getting a lot of attention. Again, a really pretty like rust color and really trendy as well. People love bralettes. <laughs> Here's another surfer graphic tee. This again is a brand that I was unfamiliar with. Um, the comps didn't look too bad. They didn't look great or anything, but for the bins, I thought it would be a good pickup. It's the brand Reason. It's a men's medium. And again, <laughs> surfers, girls also, which is nice. And yeah, I just really liked this like graphic tee. <laughs> Again, I don't know too much about the brand. It's not gonna get me too much, but I'm hoping for summer someone will pick that up. Here's another graphic tee. This one's regular and it's a size extra large. I was actually gonna keep this for myself, but I have so many graphic tees, I knew I probably wasn't gonna wear it. Really cool, like Western graphic. It's been getting a ton of attention in my closet, which is great. So I'm sure this will sell pretty soon. I don't usually pick up Wrangler ever, but I just liked the way that that t-shirt looked. And again, I thought I was gonna keep it for myself, but I did not. This, another graphic t-shirt, and I just love the way it looked. It's Banana Republic, it's a size medium. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but it says, just like a cute little t-shirt, and it says, Très men Magnifique. <laughs> I really liked it, it's so cute, especially in person. There is like a tiny little stain right here that I couldn't get out. I decided to list it as is. If it doesn't sell, uh, I'll just have to get rid of it or maybe try and sell it to like Plato's Closet or something, but it was so cute. I was surprised it was um, Banana Republic. I usually don't pick up Banana Republic, but I don't know if you could tell by the stuff I've already picked up. I was a little bit desperate this day. I wasn't finding the best stuff. So this is a, I think vintage Gloria Vanderbilt, which again is a brand I never pick up. Size medium, <laughs> but I thought it was so cute. It's a little Hawaiian shirt. It's kind of like boxy and oversized and a little bit cropped. And again, I'm pretty sure it's at least a little bit vintage <laughs> by the way the tag is, but it's so cute. I put Coastal Grandma. I don't know how much people are still into that aesthetic, but I put that in the title. 
and hopefully I'll get some attention. It has these really pretty like wooden buttons. And again, something great for the summer. Here's another Banana Republic piece. This is a men's extra fine merino wool, extra large classic brown sweater. Might be sitting on this for a while, but it's just like a really high quality sweater. Comps were not great on this. I'm sure it's pretty saturated, this type of sweater, like on Poshmark and stuff, but I do think it'll sell eventually. This is a pair of Patagonia leggings. Patagonia, usually a great brand. Not something I would have picked up in the store, but since it was at the bins, I thought I'd give it a try. I do pretty well even with Patagonia stuff that's not like their great stuff, if you can say it like that. Um, like the stuff that people would really want from the brand. These are again, cropped leggings, which cropped leggings never do very well for me, but they do have the branding on the back. They're a cute pattern. They have been getting attention. I'm not gonna get a lot for these, but I do think they will sell. Here's a brand that again, doesn't get a lot for me, but I do like to pick up, especially at the bins. It's John Galt, which is pretty much Brandy Melville. I usually find this brand without fail, <laughs> no matter what bins I go to. And I almost always pick it up. This is just a long sleeve with a stripe. This one, unfortunately, I couldn't find a model photo for. Usually I can. I don't know if this one's getting much attention, <laughs> but again, I do think it's gonna sell eventually. Here's a brand I actually like to pick up, mm, probably only at the bins, cause I don't think it does super well for me, but I have found their like uh, sweatpants before, not leggings. This is Roots, it's a Canadian brand. This is an extra small. I do think it's a men's extra small, but I have it listed as a woman's extra small and just have like the measurements noted and saying that it's like oversized because I feel like a woman would want this more than a man would. I don't know. I don't do too bad with men's size extra small, but I don't know. It's really cute. It's in great condition. It did have a few stains, but luckily they came out. And I don't feel like this brand is super popular, but I do think it's kind of a little bit pricey at least. So again, I think it'll sell eventually. <laughs> that should be the title of this haul. Everything will sell eventually. This is probably the biggest sign that I was struggling this day. <laughs> this is the first thing I picked up, fully expecting to put it back at the end, but because I was struggling so much, I didn't. Um, this is a little mini dress by probably my worst performing brand I've ever picked up. That one that I can't pronounce is a size small. Why'd I pick it up? I don't know. I always hold on to this thing that people used to talk like really well about this brand, but it's never sold well for me. I'm hoping to get just like, you know, I don't mind if I have to sell it for 10 bucks, but I picked it up even though dresses in general haven't even been doing well for me. So we'll see. This is a pair of pink Victoria's Secret sweatpants. These are an extra small. They're really like oversized, but they do have like a drawstring so you can keep them tight at the top. I like the way they look, they're very classic. And the only thing that denotes that they are Victoria's Secret pink is this P, which is nice. Cause usually it'll say like pink in big letters on the butt or something or down the leg. But these are really just a classic pair of sweatpants. A nice basic. This, if this doesn't sell, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Cause I actually like it a lot. It's like an oversized cropped white hoodie. It's from the brand Fabletics and it's a size large. It does have wash wear to it and like a small stain on the bottom I wasn't able to get out, but it's like really cute. And the model photo I think is really cute and would be great to work out in or even go for a walk in or wear to the beach. This would be great. It has like a, a windbreaker lined hood for some reason, but I like it a lot. I don't think it's getting any attention. I don't think I have a list for that much either. So I don't know. This was a Zara piece, Zara, their truffle account, I don't remember how you pronounce that collection, which is technically, I think a lower line of Zara, but I loved this. It's very wrinkly right now, but it's just like a basic neutral camel colored cropped blouse. Again, I found the model photo for it and it looks pretty cute. Has really nice buttons. 
I do well with Zara's like neutral pieces because <laughs> I can use words like minimalist and neutral. These, again, you could tell I was desperate. A pair of H&M denim shorts. These are like a mom short. I thought they looked really cute. I do pretty well with shorts like right before the summer. Not even like they don't have to be a crazy brand or anything. These are a size eight. Here is a Fabletics sports bra. The thing that does the best for me from Fabletics is their sports bras. And I really liked this color. I like the back. I might switch my model photo so that the back showing is the first picture because I think people like sports bras now that have like an open back or like a fun back situation because they like to wear just sports bras to the gym and show off their muscles. This is size medium. There's the Fabletics logo. Fabletics doesn't usually really do very well for me. I'll only pick it up at the bins. Here's another Life is Good t-shirt. I say another because I picked one up at my last bins trip and that one's doing pretty well. I found a couple today, but I only picked this one up. It says dog days. It actually reminds me of my friend and her dog. So if it doesn't sell, maybe I'll give it to her. Uh, it's a size large and I do think this is getting attention. It's really cute. He has wine. Here is another John Galt piece. This one I do think I found the model photo for. This one says small. Usually their stuff isn't sized. It's usually one size. Um, but I always take measurements and just say it's like a size small. This is like a polo, a striped polo. I think these are still pretty trendy. Nautical with those stripes. Oversized, really cute. Glad I found the model photo for one of those. This is a brand I've actually never heard of before, but comps seemed pretty good. This piece specifically, I don't actually think I'm gonna get that much for in the end, um, but some of their pieces do go for a good amount. And I actually was just at Nordstrom Rack with my husband because he had a gift card from Christmas to get some shirts for work. And I saw this brand a lot and they actually had it marked up really high, even in their clearance section. It's the Good Man brand. <laughs> And this is just a t-shirt. It's an extra, extra large. It's very soft. Pocket tee with like a notch neck. Again, found the model photo for it and everything. I think this was originally like a $68 t-shirt. It's pretty expensive for just a t-shirt. Um, so hopefully it'll do well. This was a Lulu's dress. It's gonna be very hard to show. I really like the model photo for it. It's a size large black maxi wrap dress. I like to pick up this brand. I pick it up sometimes at Goodwill. This was time I found out the bins, which is great. Usually their maxi and midi length dresses do the best for me. Their like mini dresses don't really do as well, but obviously the trendier looking the dress, the more you'll probably get for it and the quicker it will sell. I'm hoping because that one's a large and like a maxi length. I think it's maxi might be midi um that i will sell quickly <laughs> these are a pair of lily pulitzer uh pants they're size six they're the palm beach fit unfortunately couldn't find a model photo for these they have the side zipper they feel great like new <laughs> they have this lemon print they have these buttons that are really hard to see again hopefully these sell for summer I don't really find a lot of Lily Pulitzer, so I haven't sold it that much, but I was excited to see these. I feel like these might have been a little saturated though on Poshmark. I can't remember. Here is another bra. I think this is the last bra I picked up. I saw, where's the logo? I saw that logo and I knew that it was Savage X Fenty, which is Rihanna's brand. It's a size 38D. And it is a style that I feel like is pretty modern that people like. It's like a mesh. <laughs> Looks like that. And yeah, it's in really good condition. I don't usually pick up bras and stuff, but I felt like I found some cuter, newer style bras today. I feel like this is a lot more stuff <laughs> than I remember getting. Here is a Pearl Azumi. Yeah. That's how you say it. Pearl Azumi <laughs> jacket. It's a size extra large. This is like a biking brand, like a bicycle brand. 
bright yellow. Um, this was originally $90, I want to say. There are a few like marks on the front that didn't come out, but I just have it listed as is. I'm not sure if this is getting any attention, but hopefully it is. I haven't really ever sold this brand before, so I'm hoping for good things. I've heard good things, but we'll see. This, I just loved this sweater. It's like Western. It has like the scoop bottom. Um, I love the color. It's brown. It has these like metal bits on the side. And I've never heard of it. It's Cotton and Rye Outfitters. I didn't look it up. I just got it because I really liked it. I don't think it's very expensive to begin with. I don't remember if I found out where it was sold. I think it's Tractor Supply, honestly. Um, but I like the model photo and yeah, again, I might have to wait until like the fall for it to sell, but it's so cute. I love it so much. And it's a good size, extra large. Here's the last of everything. <laughs> this was an Amber Crombie and Fitch skirt. It's a size medium and it was new with tags. Again, I think this is like a newer skirt from them. They didn't have the US price, <laughs> but UK. 49 pounds, 59 euros, so probably about 50-ish US dollars. Just a stretchy white knit midi skirt. Mini skirt, not midi. <laughs> what is this? This is an Athleta tank top. It's an, it's an extra small. <laughs> Having a hard time talking. And it's just this black with these slits. It feels really nice. It's definitely oversized. I definitely checked to see what year it was from. It's actually from 2021. I think they still sell this style on their website. And this was also like 60 or $70 to begin with, which is crazy. Um, so hopefully that does well. I picked up these Victoria's Secret <laughs> heart pants. I was really hoping these would sell before Valentine's Day and they didn't. They're a size medium, but they are really cute. They're like a straight leg with the satin tie waist really classic pajama pants from Victoria's Secret. I might have to wait again until next Valentine's Day for these to sell or maybe someone will buy them for like an anniversary or maybe someone just really likes hearts. Okay. This <laughs> brand I don't pick up too often. Again, pretty desperate this day. These are Paige. It's a denim skirt. Um, Paige is a pretty expensive denim brand. They're kind of known for their like pulling that happens in the front puckering. These don't have that. They're also not very stretchy. But I did like the way this looked. Again, something I think might be a little bit oversaturated on Poshmark right now. Probably have them listed a little high, but hopefully someone is looking for a denim skirt for the summer. This I thought was interesting and pretty cute. It is a We The Free Free People Thermal. And it's actually like a one shoulder situation. The model photo is really cute. It was sold on Lulu's website. Lulu's, not Lululemon. <laughs> um, and yeah, I forgot the name of it, but it is getting a lot of attention. I like to find free people at the bins, especially what you could tell is kind of like a more modern style. Even We The Free, I will pick up at the bins, um, which is technically a lower end line of free people. Here is a pair of Eloqui cargo pants. Eloqui is a plus size fast fashion brand um, that I've sold a few times and it usually does pretty well. These are really pretty like salmon pink color and a size, did I say 16? These seem kind of big for 16, but I think they're supposed to be like a little bit baggy. Um, pockets and everything, found the model picture and everything. I do think these are newer. These would be really, really great for spring. Again, too bad I didn't really get them listed in time for Valentine's Day, because that would have been a cute outfit. I think I only have like three things left. Here is a dress. It's from Abercrombie & Fitch. I don't think this is like new Abercrombie & Fitch, but I don't think it's that old either. It's a medium petite and it is a black denim mini dress. This is my style. If this was my size, I'd probably keep it and wear it. I don't know how trendy this is, but I do like that it's black denim. I love denim. 
I don't love the zipper in the back though. It is an exposed zipper. It goes like not even all the way down, which is kind of awkward. But it is a cute dress. The fact that it's petite is probably gonna be a problem selling it, but we'll see. Might be something I end up sending into Plato's closet. But I don't know. This is a Disneyland shirt. I love Disneyland. This is actually a very new stylish shirt. They still sell this in the parks. It has a little bit of wash wear. Um, it's a size medium. So it's like a unisex size medium. Uh, I don't know if anyone <laughs> this is getting any attention in my closet. Uh, but I love this color. I actually love this t-shirt. And if it was like an oversized bigger t-shirt, I'd probably keep it for myself. But it isn't and I would never wear it. I have a lot of Disney stuff. Okay, <laughs> and this is the last thing I bought. I think this will probably get me the most out of everything if it sells, um, especially for what I have it listed at. It's a new tag dress. It's from the brand Petal and Pup, which I've never heard of. It's a US size six, but I think it's an Australian brand. One adjustable strap. It is a one shoulder satin midi dress but it is very cute again that like rust color would be great to wear to a wedding the model photo is very cute actually it might be maxi i don't remember but it has a slit in the back i wouldn't say it feels like the most high quality dress but i think it was originally like maybe 80 dollars. it doesn't say on here but i found the listing online they still sell this dress and yeah really classic really cute hard to take photos of because it doesn't have that Usually one shoulder dresses have like those plastic things in it that like clothes have so you can put it on a hanger, but this one didn't. Um, so luckily I found a model photo for it and it is getting a lot of attention. So that's great. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that haul video. I felt like it was a little hectic, um, but I feel like that was everything. Oh no, wait, one more thing. <laughs> They're still on the hanger because I needed to iron them. But I found these super cool vintage Levi pants in this like pale yellow color. Um, I don't usually pick up a lot of Levi's, even if I think they're like older at the bins. But these I felt like were really rare. I didn't look them up when I was there and I really haven't been able to find very much about them besides like one other pair just like these that sold. Someone did hem them, but they hemmed them very poorly. And luckily they didn't cut the actual jeans. So I was able to undo it. Though you could kind of still see the seams. I wasn't able to steam those out completely. And there are a few like stains that I couldn't get out. That might be hard to see, but it's like splattered right here. But they are like vintage. <laughs> The only thing I, other thing I could find about these is that they're probably from the 70s or the 80s. They're like a brown tab and they say City Side Western Wear, Levi Strauss and Company. Again, I found this exact pair sold once on Poshmark for 50 and then one that had the same tag but wore a blue jean with an orange tab that were on Etsy for like over 100. I also don't think I took the best photos of these jeans. They were kind of hard to photograph. But I think I have these listed for 60 maybe. They're so small. So small, no stretch. These are size like 24. It's a 12 flat, 12 inch flat lay measurement across of the waist. Teeny, teeny, tiny. But they're an awesome color. It'd be a great like collector's piece for somebody who likes vintage things. You really cannot see it on the camera, I feel like, but there there are stains that I did photograph and put in the listing. But anyway, I thought those were really cool. I was really hoping I'd look these up and they'd be a pair of like Levi's that are worth like hundreds, like some of them are, but I like couldn't find anything. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was my haul. Uh, let me know. If you guys enjoyed it, what your favorite piece was. I think mine were those Levi's. They're just really cool and unique. Sometimes this, like vintage things. It's like, I'll never find these again, you know? And it's fun to learn about, um, you know, vintage labels and vintage brands and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great time sourcing and selling and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.